how did uh, Latina Confessions, the documentary, speak to you? Um, well, it definitely, when one of the women mentioned about how it went, the fact that she's gone to school and that she's being educated and gone to college, that affected me just because I myself, um, a first generation to go to college, but I'm also an immigrant, yo soy de Nicaragua, and it's been, I grew up in Miami, so all around me, it wasn't expected of me to go to college and to further my education that way. Um, I was also expected to stay home. So if I was going to go to college, it was in Miami. And it's been, it really got to me because that's one thing that I've always had to struggle with, of being able to defend my own education and pursuing that education and not making it seem like I'm leaving behind my family and my people. Um, going back home, it's very hard because they're like, oh, well, you think you're better than us now. And so then, of course, because I'm better than them, they expect a lot of money because, you know, <laughs> we make a lot of money up here. Um, it's a very, mis very big misconception, I think, that we have of each other, that if we're on this side of the border, you know, we're wealthy and we can, and we can make everybody's dreams come true back home and we don't have any struggles. So it was interesting to see the women and what they had to say and their way of growing up and um, just how they're viewed by their own peers and their own community. I think that that's the splinter you speak of, that that's a big deal. And it really touched me just because I have to live with that and I have to, and I struggle with it. And hopefully um, my children wouldn't have, my daughters especially, because there's a whole idea of, you know, you're a woman, so you stay with the family and you're supposed to look a certain way or maybe dress a certain way. Um, and if that's not you, who you are, then you're not one of us. So then who you are and where you come from, just that question, I'm not, everybody ask, always asks me, where are you from? Um, it's always interesting to figure out whether they know where my country is in the first place. Um, and that also includes Latinos, which is interesting. Um, but to say I'm an American and then they're like, wait, but you're not born here, so you can't be an American. That is something that also got to me and just overall, like how we define what America is and what America is. Um, so that definitely is something that I got out of the documentary and was very interesting to me. And the women inspired me because of that, I think, to be proud of what I've done in my education. Also go back and do something with it for my own, for my own community. So. What I got from the documentary. <laughs>